All right, welcome back to your balance diet of Telly Timmy, the Good Morning Ninja Show. We get a casual guest, we just joined us in the house. And in a person, we go actually took him out inside affordable housing for his Abubudu, Nigeria. We know, say, not be now, we don't talk about um, owning an apartment, owning a property for his Abubudu, Nigeria. I say it is very expensive. Now, people, they even come outside, especially young professionals, they come outside, talk, say, even renting an apartment for Nigeria, it is very, very expensive. So we're going to talk about the property markets today and also the challenges where they're involved and some things that where you need to know if you're a person where you want to buy a property or you're a person where you want to rent an apartment. Everything concerning property, um, the property market, for example, Budo Nigeria, now we will discuss. And we get a person where Sabi work very well on top. Um, in that chartered um, surveyor with over 10 years of professional real estate experience, in the also old <coughs> and undergraduate degree, in estate management from the University of Lagos, MSc, um, real estate finance and investment degree from Enley B and Business School, University of Reading for UK, and plenty of other things where you carry take joint body. Trust me, even a person who understand the real estate market, 100% for inside Wibudu, Nigeria, and even um, outside the shores of Wibudu, Nigeria. Join me, welcome the CEO of North Court, Tayo Odunse, inside the house. Good to have you. Good to have you too. Good Thank you so much for having me. Okay, we could start with um, affordability because what's in the affordable to <coughs> A, if you know they're affordable to B. Yeah. And um, in terms um, the issue of having other, other options in terms of mode of payment. Yeah. And they talk about mortgage in particular. Because for other developed countries, you don't need to bring out all the money, do outright payment. Yeah. There's what they call um, a payment plan. We go span as, as long as 35 years, and of which you go to collect them every month, every month, small, small. And this system has been working in terms of purchasing a property. Yeah. What is going on in our country? Maybe like say that one, uh, you know, they favor us at all at all. Okay, thank you so much, my sisters. Um, you've asked a very good question. Um, the World Bank measures one indicator called mortgage debt, which is the percentage of mortgages to the GDP of every country. Uh, for countries like uh, US, UK, those percentages are like 80, 90%. Uh, for Australia, it's like over a hundred percent. All right, guess what the figure is for Nigeria? Two percent. rich to my sister. You know rich to. is zero point one percent. Wow. It's not even up to one. You know rich one. So that's to show you how little, how how few mortgages have been given in Nigeria, and the reason is not far fetched. Um, if government is lending, is, is borrowing from banks and from individuals, you can buy treasury bills for 12, 13, 14 percent which is essentially a risk-free investment. That means mortgages can never be cheaper than that 12, 13, 14%. And right now, the cheapest kind of mortgage you can get in Nigeria is about 18%. Standard mortgages are about 22%. So when you begin to think about that, that already is not affordable. If you are paying 22% per annum on your mortgage, per, you know, so it's not affordable. So in fact, people that are taking mortgages, they must have another reason why they are taking it. It's no longer because of affordability. Maybe they are taking it because they know that within a short period they'll be able to pay it back, mm -hmm. you know, some other reasons. So these are the challenges that we have with mortgages. You're absolutely right. Ordinarily, you're not meant to have 100% of the money you want to use to buy a house and just put it down. You're meant to be able to drop 10%, you know, and, and spread the rest over a period of time. Once you have a good job, you know, you're paying your mortgage steady. You know, it's just, it's just a normal thing. In other parts of it, it's like paying your tax. Paying your mortgage is just like paying your tax. Everybody has a mortgage. All right, um, we're going to talk more concerning them, talk more about concerning for affordable housing for inside Wobodo, Nigeria, who will be the major stakeholder as we support to ensure, say, um, housing, they are affordable for Nigeria people. We're going to talk more concerning that, but let's go on this quick break. Coming back, um, we're going to talk about um, the property auction and where they're on ground. You need to actually hear this information.
All right, welcome back. We see get Tayo Odunsi, the CEO of North Court in the house. I think they talk about affordable housing, the property um, sector um, for in the real estate sector for inside we able to Nigeria. And we don't talk about mortgage now. So I just want to ask you now, despite the fact that people get, uh, well, it depends on which you call good salary. Uh, you understand. Now, despite the fact that person they earn, let's say, um, 400k and above, you see they're very hard for them to own a property for inside Niger. Why? Well, uh, number one, houses are quite expensive. So even if you have a salary, you get salary of 400,000. When you calculate it, that comes to about uh, how much per annum? That's about... Uh, uh, well, give or take... It, it, five points, something, five point two million thereabouts. There about six, six million, <coughs> million thereabouts. So, how many years are you going to save up for? Considering the fact that, you know, standard procedures, you are not meant to spend more than about thirty percent of your income on on housing, and even when you are saving up to buy, you are also still renting somewhere. So those are the challenges. So a, a lot of times we find that people that take mortgages sometimes they take it, you know, as a as, as a couple. You know, so they combine their, their, funds their together, they combine their, their funds together. We don't have a lot of low cost housing in in different parts of, 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 of Nigeria. In other parts of the world, you find that housing is segmented. Yeah. You know, there's housing for for everybody. Mm -hmm. There's high end housing. You know, mm -hmm. and in fact, it's been taught through that for people that earn even 200, this is the kind of housing that they'll be able to get. People earning 400, people earning 1 million per, per month, this is the kind of housing that they'll be, they'll be, able, to, they'll be able to get. So that kind of thoughtfulness have, has not been given. And uh, you asked you ask the what question earlier, blame, really? that who's to blame? Yes. It's a collective effort. And at this point, I would, I would face developers first. Okay. Because developers tend to build for only one type of Nigerian. The big man. The big man. Mm. Where does common man go live? At least common man, if you would big, if you they build four bedroom house for big man, three bedroom house, build one bedroom for common man. You still feel even build two bedroom, but you no go put elevator, you no go put Italian tiles. You you go make them cheaper for the for the small man. Mm -hmm. And you know me say, nice bush you go build them. You you still feel build them, you know, for city. But you know, smaller sizes, and these are the things we see when we travel. But our developers now only big men that they build for, you know. So that's one challenge. But even apart from our developer, our government to mm -hmm. get work to do. In most developed countries, there is a segment of the market called affordable housing. In fact, in country like UK, there's a, there's <coughs> a planning law called Section 106. If a developer won't build nice retail mall nice office block they go tell them say we go approve this office block but you must use 10 to 15 percent for affordable housing they go for some oh you go build 10 to 15 percent <laughs> and government then go set the rent set the price oh. for that portion and at the end of the day they don't calculate them it no go eat into the profit of the developer so now win-win it's like a CSR. It's like a CSR. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. So we don't get those kind of policies. Mm -hmm. We don't get that segment. For US, their own, they're different. They get market segment called affordable housing. If you're a developer, you feel be commercial developer. Commercial no means na you na only office and retail you they do. It means say you they build to sell at commercial prices. Mm -hmm. But you feel they designated as affordable housing developer. Once you don't get designated as affordable housing developer, it means say you don't feel build house past one price. It means say you know go they pay certain tax. It means say government go they give you land at cheaper prices. It means say government go they give you uh, planning permission at cheaper prices. But in exchange, you say go build your house for cheaper price. And these are things that government they do incentives, incentives to make sure say everybody get house. Mm. Now you don't talk something, you don't talk the one, you talk away something will make sense and we'll, for our country will never really tap into them fully. Now, we could come up from owning a house to owning land because you go first get the land mm. yes. before you go build on top. Huh? Absolutely. It can't bring me to the issue of Omo Onile. <laughs> Omo Onile, they give people headache. Omo Onile, they give people trouble, pass the money where they even used to buy the land. We need to know one on one rules in terms of Omo Onile and government when buying land. To start with, I must confess, I'm a property professional. Omonine, I don't reduce. Mm. 
Mm. For Lagos, for Lagos. Oh. That's for Lagos. Oh. For We're Lagos. outside Lagos, but still they lamenting. Collect, they still they collect the event for those other sites. Yes. You know, but for Lagos, Omonile Wala don't reduce. And we must talk them because when governments, they criminalize Omonile activities that year, we they look and say, it go work, it go work. It don't work. It's not a criminal offense. It's part of our law now. If they catch you, you go go. Catch you doing what exactly? Ah, once they see, there are certain activities that are described as omonile activities. Mm -hmm. Person don't buy land. You can't mm -hmm. arrest and say, may you bring money before you build foundation, foundation, before mm -hmm. you do lintel, before you do. Yeah, those are. They go, once they report you, they go. They go, they go put you for prison. But that's criminal, a case of if you've been criminal. caught. A lot of times when they come vandalize the property where that you're developing, it's where is at night or when you're not around. Absolutely. You know, a lot of people will get those kind of land, they put CCTV camera so those, at those, the beginning. Mm, yes, you are right. Those, those issues still remain, but I just they talk, say, it don't, it don't reduce. But you ask questions, say, what is the 101 for dealing with Omonile? The first thing I they tell common man, say, yeah, when you want to go buy something and you see, say, trouble feed day there, you, you better make you no buy them. When you keep your one million inside your pocket, nothing go happen to run for there. So you get sent to places, you do your research, you find out, say, oh, money there, they get challenged for you. Yeah. Once you know, say, you know, be developer, we savvy on money there, how to manage them. No, go put your head for there. It, it, that's why you did better, say, you, you just be gentle person, you won't buy land. Go buy inside estates. If a money like come, now the developer will develop the estate. Go, now, go, they go now, now, now they go meet. No be you will buy. But you're, that's going to be more expensive. Exactly. It, it go, if it's if mm -hmm. it more expensive, but no be everywhere they expensive. Some cheaper lands, they, of course, you may need to move a little further out. But inside city uh, uh, centers too, you know, there are some locations that you can still get land. And those areas are not notorious for money lay. There are certain areas that are more notorious than others, even in places like Port Harcourt that you might be alluding to, or maybe in Ogun State, or there are, there are some places that are more notorious than the other. What the number one thing is to find out how a money lady they operate for a year. If you ask any property professional for that neighbor, say how this neighbor, a money lady disturb, they go tell you true. And with that information, you feel take your decision. So what of proper, yeah. what of um, documents yes. for land? Because now, they get C of O, they get possession as you talk, yes. and they get some people where group A go say, I buy it from government. Group B be saying, a family, now give me this land. Yes. How person go fit, take manage that situation? And which document person will want buy land need to know? Because this agent or the real estate person, they'll tell you, say, no worry. Now this is your phone you need. For... Mm. After see your phone, that's okay. Okay, I'll, I'll go say how I quickly talk about title documents. There are, there are a number of title documents, all right? So since 1978, the number one title document we did for Nigeria now, the one we really call C of O, Certificate of Occupancy. But before 1970, 1970 not just yesterday, before 1978, title document day, and that one denied that they call land certificate. So those two day, we don't understand that. Now, after certi certificate of, of, of occupancy done the top one land, let's say that land now 2,000 square meters, may I get them? I can't sell 1,000 inside. That 1,000 where I sell, I know if you get another C of O on top of I go come give you where buy am deed of assignment. You, you go oh. come go register it at your deed of assignment. Now they, they call registered deed of assignment. So you see, you're not the other type of title document be that now. Oh, you so C of O is C higher than the deed of, in, in terms of, C of O is a larger. Yes. So it's, it's, it's covers it, a larger portfolio. Yes. Now they yeah. always be the first title document where they, they give mm -hmm. after 1978. The same thing, if that land now since 1960, and a land certificate you get, I sell small inside to you, or I even sell the old thing inside to you, the deed of assignment I will give you, go come go register, you understand? If not flat, you buy. <coughs> no, I know if you do full assignment for flat, so now deed of sublease you go get, that deed of sublease you go come go register them again. The oh. key inside all of this now registration, any kind of document you get, you must carry, after we don't transact finish, you go carry and go meet government, they go come register around. What are situations where, sorry, what are situations where mm. government go come demolish certain properties? Mm. Take for example, the Badagri Express, where we will see where they, they do construction. Yeah. Go, although government be a make announcements, yes. but in that kind of case where you don't already buy this land, mm. it's authenticated. And conversation on ground. And yes. you know. So, so there are two reasons why it. government can, can, can demolish. One is for what we call eminent domain. And the other one now for 
contravention. Eminent domain, now say, government get eminent domain. The government fit demolish any property, fit take over any property, but only for one reason, because it get overriding public interest. So when your house didn't near one small road before, but now that road don't block, they won't come widen up. You see, say public interest don't override, say only you they live for your house. Mm -hmm. So government fit take over that your property because they won't ride widen the road. But that same law, we say government fee overtake your property, say they must compensate you, and they must yeah. compensate you in mm -hmm. full. Yes, that's your house where you get. You must fit get another same that house for where government right. don't bring, yeah. carry you go. Mm -hmm. So for that case, we in an eminent domain, which na the Badagri one way they talk, the Badagri Express we want, they go compensate you in full. But if you can, the other one I say you contravene. Contravene I say, you build house, you don't get planning permission. Or you get planning permission to build two story. My sister, you come agree, say, now four story you won't build. Government will demolish your house. But if, if for that one too, and in eminent domain, before government demolish, they go serve you notice, mm -hmm. they go notify you, sometimes you go go tribunal, you go talk the matter. Government no go just come, come, demolish your house. No, but the truth is, the truth is, the government gets role to play to ensure, say, they not just come demolish your house. I we carried out an investigative reporting recently for some people where they stay down this Aja place. And some of their houses there, they actually go there to demolish them without even compensating them. The matter is there for inside court now almost two years. So government gets their role to play. Now I know say there was a property auction on ground. Tell yes. us more about the reason why this property auction is on ground and who will benefit from them. So my company where they work for North Court, we look and say people know they get property. Perhaps because the agency fee will even we said they charge, they're too high. Or perhaps because they don't know. Or perhaps because the prices of those properties they high. We can't think them. See, it gets one metal where they don't they use from time immemorial, which is an auction. What is an auction? Auction, I say, I go bring this thing where I won't sell. I go come let people determine the price, the value. If na 100 now, they say the thing be. I go sell them 100. If they say now 1,000, I go sell them. We can say, more do auctions. But you should say property owners go one do this. So, they always want to make money. So that the thing we can do, they be that. Mm. As we don't think I'm, we can't approach property owners. You, you, are, you agree with this idea. This is your property, it they market. Nobody feed by them. You should say that the price be that. Let us put them for open market. Make market people determine the price. Now we can't say more, we'll do this auction. Wow. So for this auction, market forces go determine the price of the property. And people go pay by the property. And owners don't agree. Say, okay, no problem. Let me truly see how much my property is worth. You so they're actually buying into it? Yes, because you feel things, say your property now 50 million, make now 60. Market go buy them. They feel come oh, buy them. Oh, say now 50, buy 45. market buy them 20 million. Make market buy them. But, but range day. Okay. Range day. You know, okay. people have appreciation of value. If, okay. if you give me a house of 40 million, you give them to me for 10 million. I go fear, I don't go buy them. <laughs> so value, there's a range of values. So that is why we are doing the auction. And, uh, you know, it, it's taking place on the 29th of November, okay. 2019, <laughs> for Four Points Hotel from 6 to 8 p.m. And, you know, we're just inviting everyone, you mm -hmm. know, people that want to buy. You can still, if you want, have a property you want to auction, you can still try to, you can still get to auction it. There's still a leeway, at least up until the end of this week, for us to list, you know, your, your property. You feel email us for auctions at northcourtrealestate.com. You know, so once you email us, again. auctions at northcourtrealestate.com. Northcourt, now like north and then court of law, yeah. northcourtrealestate.com. <coughs> if you email us, we go fit, send you the questionnaire, you go tell us about your property, we go see whether it is suitable, and we go list them. And on the Beautiful. 29th of November, for four points, we're inviting everyone to come and, and, and see what they can buy. So and also, if you have to get more information online on Instagram, so yeah. follow them. You're going to get presence on Instagram. We get presence. So just give them North the handle. Court, North Court underscore RE, which is North Court Real Estate. Okay. North Court underscore RE on Instagram, on Facebook, um, and on Twitter as well. So I follow them and get about it. It's quite, um, quite interesting. I hope to be there. Yes, um, it's great to, to have you. Them. All right, thank you so much for coming. We wish you the very best thank in you so your much. career. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.